G'day guys, Josh here, and you can see that we've made some changes to my lineup. In fact, I've got both Platinum Masters, cost me a lot of money to build those, and I also got that three-point contest winner, Devin Booker, maxed out to 99 overall. So we're gonna be doing a review video of him today. You can see here that his default outside shooting stat is 91, which is insane. Um, Oh no, that's his untrained level, my mistake. If we actually view his trained level, it's 94. And if we hit view more, let's have a look at some of these insane stats. We'll ignore the boosts. He's got a base of 92 speed, 91 agility, 99 mid-range shot, 97 three-pointer. That's definitely going to be the stat that we test out in this video. Uh, 94 inside paint shot. He's also got 92 dunking and 94 scoring with contact, as well as 94 on-ball defense, which is amazing, and 91 passing accuracy there. That's a lot of stats in the 90s or above. He's six foot six, which I really like, uh, a minimum of six four in my shooting guard, but the taller the better. Uh, they're gonna play defense better and they it's easy for them to get open shots because they're a little bit taller, especially if you're faced up against someone like Iverson, who's quite short. But even here, you can see that we have that height advantage over CJ McCollum, which will help just a little bit. So let's jump into this first head to head quarter. And let's test out the range on this insane Devon Booker card. Start by tipping the ball straight to him. We're gonna run down to the wing, gonna do a little crossover move, pull up 20% release, and he rims that one out. All right, not the start I was hoping for. Uh, that was pretty open. I, I would have hoped that he could drain that one. I have been using this card a fair bit though, and it is absolutely crazy. Here we go, catch and shoot, another 20% release. Money, that was too easy. Yeah, he didn't have heaps of space there, but he had just enough to get that shot off. And obviously getting a 20% perfect release helps significantly. Uh, let's get that ball back. Not too concerned about playing defense. Just want to get as many possessions as possible. Get the ball back to Booker. Going to run around the top, see if we can get open. Use James as a screen. There we go. Nice and open. Another 20% release. And another one that is just a little bit off target. What I might do next time we get the ball is I'll get him an inside shot. Uh, actually, and we might try finishing at the rim based on just how good his inside scoring stats were. And then we'll see if that can fire him up from, uh, from the outside. Here we go, nice and contested, and he gets that to drop. I was actually expecting that to miss, just given how contested that was, but it went in, which is great. Uh, it's ooh, a little bit late on that block, so that clutch three-pointer is gonna go in. And I just realized that we're losing five to 10, which isn't great. Was not paying attention to the score at all, but that's fine. Just a, a review video. We're only view, uh, reviewing one player. Normally I wouldn't just shoot with one player like this. All right, we're nice and open there. Another 20% release and he does get that to go. So sometimes you just get those bad luck on the dice rolls and you miss shots. You got the hand in the passing lane there, but we were not able to come up with the ball. What do we got? 46 seconds left on the clock. We should have at least two more shots with Booker, maybe three if we can be quick. Oh, Gasol's probably gonna make that. He was wide open. <laughs> not known for a three-point shooter, but when they're that open, the AI does not miss. All right, that's, oh, here we go. Nice and open for an inside shot. Makes that 22% release. You know that's gonna go in. So he's starting to put shots up now. Uh, he did miss a couple of early ones, which I thought were makeable. Uh, let's go into the corner here, got some space, some separation, another 20% release, another made shot. He's definitely selling the heat up, just like he uh, definitely was hot in that three-point contest. 28 points, which I believe is a record in the uh, in that format, which is just insane. I thought that Clay had a pretty good showing with 25 points, but oh, let's test his range. Wide open, 20% release, little bit short. Now that's more Steph Curry range, and I will be getting to a review that's just fire off a full court or half court shot with LeBron to finish that off. I will be firing off a platinum Steph Curry review. I've been also loving using him, and his range is insane. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen a couple of teaser videos that I've released, and he's, some of the shots he can make are just crazy. So that was against a balanced lineup. Let's jump in against this 94 overall shooting lineup. Who will be facing off against Swag, James Harden, and we'll see if he can do any better this quarter. See if we can miss a few less shots. I think he missed three, one of which was a, was a pretty deep one. All right, let's, let's run into that corner. Let's get things started the right way this time, and he does. A little bit late on the timing, but he's still got that to go. 
Let's get that ball back from Irving. He's going to make... Oh, he actually missed. I was not expecting that. An open AI miss. You don't see that too often. Uh, let's run around. Oh, here we go. Nice and open at the top. Mm, maybe not as open as I first thought. Harden did get his hand up and he was in the general area. I'm not actually sure what the exact range is for a shot to be considered contested, but I'm going to guess that that was actually a contested shot. Uh, as he's running inside, beautiful backdoor cut and he was able to finish that, no worries at all. His inside game is really impressive. Uh, I don't really watch the Suns in the NBA too much, so I, I haven't seen Devin Booker play other than his highlight sort of games. I didn't realize uh, that his inside finishing ability was so significant, but his stats are fantastic. Another catch and shoot, bang. It just feels really good with his catch and shoot shots. They just, it's just something about them. Curry's a bit the same. There's a couple of players in this game and they just feel like they're gonna go in. Uh, see if we can get a little spin move. Another contested shot. Can't get that one to finish though. That was over a big man. Okay, let's get this ball back. Ooh, Royalty LeBron with the clutch dunk. That was nice. All right, where's Booker? All right, he's on the far corner. He's cutting. We can get the ball to him. Oh, he, ooh, I missed that pass. He was open and he ran and he was no longer open. So we're going to the corner. Harden backs up. We get that 20% and that rims out. He is a little bit better than this review has been showing. Uh, he does a little bit like Jimmer last year, Jimmer Fredette. I found that you really need to hit perfect releases with him um, to really maximize your scoring potential. There we go, another inside shot with him. Um, I find that Booker is a little bit the same, but if you can hit those 20% releases and if you can get him uh, warmed up early, then he can definitely have some crazy streaky shooting quarters. I haven't been able to highlight that. Let's see if we can get the ball back for one last shot. We're going to have time to find Booker. Probably not. Oh, turn the ball over, so definitely not. But that gives you a good indication of just how capable this Booker card is. He can definitely hit shots from inside and from outside, and he can heat up. Definitely heat up. I didn't catch it in these two quarters, but I have been using him a fair bit, and he's gone absolutely nuts in a few of my quarters. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.